Hi everyone, welcome back to QP Learn Online Education, the Learn Perfect. The today is our one of the topic is that that is the Gauss law in electrostatics. Okay, the before understanding that Gauss law, just we have to know about the some basic things that is the electric flux. Before that, we should understand what is electric flux then only it is very easy to understand the gas law so that this is the flux this is the flux symbol the electric flux so what is electric flux the electric flux is stated that a number of electric field lines see i will take one diagram small so this is the one square the number of electric field lines passing through a closed surface area so this is the square or rectangular anyone you can take so in within this area how many number of lines passing per unit area how much what is the unit area for example one centimeter one centimeter one one if you take square all the sides are equal so one one centimeter is the unit so within that unit area the how many max electric field lines are passing so that is called electric flux its formula we are writing the flux is equal to e into so e means this is the electric field lines electric field lines so this is the ds ds means it is the considered area closed surface area so e into ds okay so pi is equal to e into ds is the flux formula suppose if i will take one more diagram suppose this is the one rectangular area is there so this is the exactly center center line if the flux mag electric field lines if it is passing like this which makes an angle to the normal of the line that time it has a direction okay here is also there but direction is almost it is zero degree here which makes certain angle with this one automatically the some angle will be raised 5 degree 10 degree 25 degree at the time just we are using the according to the resolution of vector we are using the pi is equal to pi is equal to e into d as the cos theta the cos theta here what is the angle that angle you substitute and you calculate the what is that electric flux are you understand okay so electric flux means in other word also we can say that the electric it is a product of electric field and closed area it is a product of electric field and closed area it is called electric flux uh, electric flux is equal to e into ds or number of electric field lines passing in a closed area is called electric flux okay now we have to go for the gas law okay now we have to go for gas law exactly what gas law says what is its statement that we have to know now see according to the gas law in a closed surface area you take any closed surface area okay if you take any any closed surface area okay the outward flux the closed surface area is the area that is the ds okay according to gas law he states that the outward flux carefully you listen the outward flux outward flux means it is a symbol you know that this is the flux outward flux outward flux in a closed surface area closed surface area so closed surface surface area that is ds okay once again i'll repeat gasla states that the outward 
flux in a closed surface area is always equal to 1 by epsilon naught times of the charge enclosed in it enclosed in it so that is the statement of gauss law but gauss law is state that the outward flux in a closed surface area is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times of the charge enclosed in that area is called gauss law so what is the year difference your, sir, why we learn electric flux and why again the gas law means just you listen here even gas law see formula you know that the out the flux is equal to the flux is equal to e into ds is the flux formula according to gas he is telling that again he is also telling that that flux is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times into q or or else directly you can write the q by epsilon naught so this is also flux formula this is also flux formula but what is the purpose of this gas law means the carefully understand this is very 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 important see here according to the definition we told that the in a closed surface area here if you want to calculate the flux outward flux in a closed surface area the closed surface area if it is square rectangle or circle if it is all these shapes of all these shapes as formula means geometrical shapes are there so all these have the formula for example area of the circle pi r square square is l square rectangle is length into breadth within this such type of the uh, shape of area within that if the electric field sorry electric field lines are passing you can so ds means that's area what is the strength of electric field directly you can multiply and you will get the answer but sometimes i will ask you the question if the shape is like this see in with the, this is the one shape within this shape the field lines are moving now you know that what is the strength of electric field you know very well okay e you know that how do you calculate this type of irregular shape of area there is no any formula for calculating the such type of the areas so now you will face the difficulties if always if it is like this means that is okay if it is surface is like that how do you calculate the flux first of first we have to calculate this area area first of all we can't calculate there is no any formula for this so for that that time you so you go through this gas law it is very 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 easy it is he is telling that suppose he is telling that suppose you take any irregular shape area within this area what is the charge is enclosed for example your charge is one coulomb of charge okay one coulomb of charge or two coulomb of charge is within this area if the two coulomb of charge is present that's all you take here two coulombs here divided by epsilon naught so where epsilon naught is you know that the where epsilon naught is the it is the constant that constant value is 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 uh, coulombs per newton meter square okay so this is the constant if you want to calculate the flux easily easily you can calculate it. just you put the charge one coulomb charge is enclosed in this area so your flux is equal to what is one coulomb of charge divided by or suppose two coulomb here two coulomb or three coulomb suppose two coulomb of charge is enclosed in this area and enclosed in this area the outward flux so divided by epsilon naught is the 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 you do you will get the answer is the answer is 0 0.225 here minus 10 to the power of uh, uh, 10 to the power of minus 12 if you send upside so it will become the plus 12 
so this much of flux is this much of flux is the moving uh, in outward so flux so unit of the flux is the newton your newton newton meter square per coulomb so this is the si unit of the flux are you clear so this purpose we are using the coulomb's law in electric field also we have the formula that formula is applicable only at a certain extent the more than that we can't go that uh, so for that if you use gauss law it is very very use any irregular shape any irregular shape you can take within that how much charge is enclosed see like that within that what is the charge is present inside that area so here charge is there for example this charge is spreading the like this what is this area this area is enclosing the air outward flux is definitely are exactly equal to this one that is called so that is called the coulomb sorry that is called gauss law have you clear i and uh, thank you for watching this video have a nice day bye bye